Hello Pisces, welcome to Berkeley True Tarot and this is a reading about your ex, what they're feeling, what they're thinking about you, if they're thinking. So let's check what are their feelings. What are the feelings? Okay, here we have the first card already, King of Swords. What are the feelings of your ex? Messages for Pisces. Two of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Ace of Swords. And Knight of Swords. My God, we have a lot of swords here. Vices. What has gone wrong between both of you? Looks like you both don't want to see each other, even if you love each other. I don't know what's wrong with you. Here with this Ace of Swords, you both have not moved on. You are still stuck at a point where you broke away. I mean, where this breakup, uh, breakup happened. Actually, I see that you are still holding on to those words that you said to each other. Maybe the argument was better, maybe Things that you both were not supposed to said, say to each other, you said. And uh, you people are still, you know, clinging to those words. It's like you're constantly complaining to each other. You said that that day. This person is telling you, you said these things that day. And uh, what you meant. And uh, why did you say so? And you are thinking in that similar way. It's like you are mirroring each other. Whatever you feel like Pisces, you know, are the feelings of your partner as well. With this King of Swords and Queen of Swords, no matter how uh, far you are, no matter how bitter you are to each other, still you are soulmates, you are meant for each other. You are the perfect one. Maybe you are in your worst times, maybe you are in a rough stage of your relationship, but that doesn't matter because still you are meant for each other. And you know that you both are the perfect one. You cannot find anyone better. If you choose to walk away, you can always find someone else. But still, there is something about this connection. So enchanting, so connecting. And you are complaining a lot to each other. That's because you expect a lot from each other. You have a lot of expectation. They have a lot of expectation. And that's because you love each other. It's like you find world into each other you see world into each other and that's why you want world from each other it's like if anything goes wrong you are blaming it on each other and then here you have two of pentacles both of you are confused both of you feel like that who is the real one the one who was uh, in love with me when the times were good the one who used to talk romantic the one who used to care the one who used to give me love and affection or this one queen of swords who doesn't care, who keeps always complaining, who gives um, reasons to stay apart, who gives reason to um, you know break this relationship. They feel this way and you both feel this way. I mean, you both cannot recognize each other. At one point, you both feel like you are made for each other. You're lost in good memories. It's like you mean world to each other. Okay, no matter how my king of swords is, no matter what they said, no matter how selfish they are, but when they are good, they are the best. And nothing can replace them. I cannot find someone like them. And that is the feeling that they have right now for you as well. It's like they feel the same. My queen of swords can be better. My queen of swords might have complained a lot. But at the end of the day, when she is around, I am complete. I feel the best. And... Uh, it's like what gives you the best will give you the worst. I don't know what kind of situation is this. Contradictory. Completely. Your personalities are extremes. And uh, that might be giving you some problems right now. But whatever the situation is, here we have Knight of Swords. So this Knight of Swords is impatient. 
this knight of swords will not be able to hold it for a long time hold their feelings for a long time they cannot ignore you for a long time and knight of swords will be back because this person has this habit this person keeps coming in and going out that's because um, they feel constant pull towards you it's like whenever they um, you know give you a reason to be upset you you know fire back I mean you say things that they are supposed to listen you show them the mirror you show them the truth this person hates it because you are right you show them the true things but then they love you they know that you are genuine you are true and you have this attraction you have everything that they want you are perfect in looks you are perfect uh, you know emotionally and uh, you connect to them deeply so somehow this person craves for this connection they know that you are the perfect one they know that when you are good you are the best and uh, that is why they cannot resist and you can expect them once again However, this is a journal reading. This is not going to resonate for all. And then it could be reversed as well. Also, you can check your moon and rising sign. Here we have a lot of swords. It could be an air sign. Let's go ahead and check some more messages for you, Pisces. King of Wands. Nine of Swords. King of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Swords, King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. Perfect. Again, you are a perfect couple. You are soulmate. You are twin flame. You have Pentacles to offer. You have everything to offer. You can offer each other gifts. You can off offer each other affection, care, right advice, everything, everything that you are looking for, that you are asking for. You can fulfill each other. You can complete each other. Yet what uh, what you're offering is swords you're offering swords to each other right now Pisces and that is not the best thing to do right now because here you have king of wands somehow you are you know at a place where you have everything I mean at your workplace you might be progressing people around you love you they care about you they know that you're the perfect one and these are positive people these, these are your well-wisher and uh, they trust you they follow your advice but then what they don't know is that you are struggling somewhere with these nine of swords and this person is also struggling with this eight of swords looks like that they are trying not to fall for it they are trying to avoid you yes this person is trying to avoid you because somehow this person feels like looking at you triggers something in them you know, uh, they are reminded of the past. They are reminded of those uh, sweet memories. And in the end, it gives uh, gives them a lot of pain because they know that it's no more there. And with this nine of swords, I see that you are too avoiding them. You have closed yourself somewhere. You are not talking to anyone. You are not telling your true feelings to anyone. People know that you're king of wands, but they don't know that you have nine of swords right now. You are going through something at a very personal level and uh, it's like you don't want to share anything to anyone so it's a situation where you both need to um, be sure what you want because you have a lot to offer but you're offering swords let's check an oracle method for you Pisces Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Okay, so maybe you need support. Maybe you need advice. Maybe you need um, some positivity to walk ahead in your life. Because here with this nine of swords, I see that you feel unsupported. You feel alone. 
you feel like uh, you are close somewhere and it's like you don't uh, expect anyone to understand you or expect anyone to understand your pain so it's about thinking if you were supported if everything was fine what would you do just do that trust your path you need not doubt about your gut feelings about your intuitions just go after whatever you are uh, wishing for so this was the reading for your ex i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching till next video bye